certainly not for the faint of hearts. Feels quite exposed. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Earthlings, wherever you are in the world. My name is Mary, and if you're new here, it's lovely to meet you. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So for this video, I'm going to try a bit of a different format only because it was my first time to meet Anna and Alex who have kindly invited me over to show me their beautiful Yorkshire. I wanted to be a bit more in the moment as it was also my first visit to the Yorkshire Dales so I didn't manage to vlog as I normally would. I'm quite excited to share this trip with you because so many mishaps happened before I got to Yorkshire but don't worry I will not bore you with the details so to cut the story short, I get to settle two hours later than planned and finally met the lovely Anna and her partner Alex. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but here it goes. We headed to Attermeyer for a wild camp. It's basically a series of limestone scars which are over 300 million years old. Anna picked this spot and assured us that it's going to be a leisurely hike up above the caves but we shall see. This is Anna, our tour guide. Hey. <laughs> and this is Alex. Hi there. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very enthusiastic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not the view, is that it? The caves you're pointing out. <laughs> came from by the road and we're going up this rocky bit up the hill above the caves Anna's up there already look She's sprinting. Where's Alex? There he is. I better catch up. It's kind of scary. It's a drop. Careful. Certainly not for the faint of heart. Feels quite exposed. Next time, next time, if Anna says, "Oh, it's just a pleasant hike above the caves," <laughs> it'll be an easy hike. No bother.
Oh, it's a oh, dune! So <laughs> <laughs> Frodo, is that you? Frodo. No. So that was our day one in the Yorkshire Dales and here comes day two. First stop, a gorgeous waterfall. Yeah, I put my swimming costume on. Do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, do it! Are you the gonna mine's go in? in the, mine's in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're just outside of Settle and this is a lovely waterfall, just a short walk from the road. It's called Scalibur Force and it's really pretty. <laughs> if you fall, I've had it on camera. It's such a shame we didn't get to have a dip due to the number of photographers that were here to take a snap of the waterfall, but Anna had better plans ahead. Today's main course is a hike around Malam, which is well known for its breathtaking and interesting landscapes straight out of a sci-fi and fantasy film. So put your feet up and stay tuned in if you're into geography and who knows, you might learn a thing or two from teacher Anna. Is there where they're gonna film The Witcher? No, that's oh. Gordale Scar, which we're going oh, to Oh, we're later. going later. Yeah. The What's this valley called? Anna's favourite valley. <laughs> great, great valley. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Am I sat down? Yeah. No? No? Yeah. Insta boyfriend. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> Can't say I'm too happy with it. <laughs> Here she comes. Here goes the
he gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? Are you ducking? Alex! <laughs> hey. Geography lesson. Geography lesson, yes. From Anna. So we're in a U-shaped valley uh, from the glacier. Um, and up on the valley sides, you can see evidence of freeze-thaw weathering. So that's when you get water in the cracks and then it freezes and it expands and then it causes the rocks to shatter. So that's why you've got all of the lines and they're all like that. Learn something new every day. Thank you, teacher Anna. <laughs> if you like the Harry Potter films, you might recognize this spot from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is where Harry, Hermione, and Ron camped, if you can remember. So we're just coming onto Malham Cove now, and you can see all the limestone pavement around us. And this is the remains of an ancient waterfall. Actually goes underground and it appears at the bottom of the cove rather than going over it. Yeah, so it wouldn't it wouldn't have really looked like this. So the reason you've got these kind of like divides is because there's a lot of peat around here. Mm -hmm. So the peat in the water um, kind of erodes the limestone um, because it's quite acidic and the limestone is just very very porous. Um, yeah, so this is a really really famous example in the UK of a limestone pavement. Okay. Geography lesson <laughs> part two. This is Marlon Cove from below. Even though it's an area of scientific interest, they've they let the rock climbers climb here, and a lot of people say it's just one of the best places to climb. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're going to go in a little cave to see where the stream is, where the stream comes from. From a cave. From a cave. Yeah. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> Geography really lessons number three. <laughs> Anna, where's the cave? <laughs> That's the question. Where is the cave? Where does this water come from? Who knows? <laughs> so, what do you think of Malham Cove? Oh no, sorry, you're just in pain. And then <laughs> it was pretty impressive. It's just broken your back. <laughs> Now what I forgot to show you was the seemingly endless stone steps that we had to climb down from the cove, so this was a much welcome branch. Dancing in the rain Dancing in the rain <laughs> Miss? <laughs> Teacher Anna. Miss Adele. <laughs> this is Malam Tarn. Um, there's only two real large bodies of water in the Yorkshire Dales. That's because uh, most of the Yorkshire Dales is limestone, so it just sinks. So there's lots of underground um, lakes and water and caves and things, but you don't see many on the surface. But the reason you've got Malham Tarn is because it's actually on a bed of slate on top of the lime. I think it's on top of the limestone, but yeah, so it doesn't sink because it's, it's on top of the slate. You can't swim in here because um, it's an area of scientific um, interest. And they've got um, this rare crayfish, so they don't want any anti, um, any foreign bodies entering um, to harm the population in there. But yeah, it's really pretty, even in the rain. <laughs> even in the rain. Geography lessons number four. <laughs> We're losing count, aren't we? <laughs> Where's the slate? <laughs> and that, Earthlings, was our day two in the Dales. We drove back to Anna's place, had a lovely shower, and watch The Hobbit before retiring to our comfy beds for the night. Work it! Work it, girl! Woo! <laughs> Oh, no. I don't know if it landed on the same side. <laughs> I could have done two. The next morning, Anna made us some lovely vegan pancakes before heading out to the forest for a beautiful walk. The bluebells and the wild garlics were in full bloom and they were absolutely gorgeous. More mud. <laughs> oh. Oh, <the> joys. <laughs> Nicely avoided. Oh, and then a holly bush just to make it extra interesting. I'm going straight through. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think you're wearing yeah. it. Yeah.
<laughs> wow. It does look very pretty. Good. <laughs> you, I mean. Oh, thank you. Oh, too kind. Oh, pretty too. There we are. Trying to not look at your skirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put a big rock in the middle for her? Oh, nicely done! Hey, very good! I had a truly wonderful time in Yorkshire. Anna and Alex were superb hosts and really fun to explore with. I am so, so grateful. And Anna is also on YouTube as The Sustainable Hiker and runs a brilliant travel blog as well called My Travel Scrapbook. I will link all this down below, including her Instagram page. So check it out if you want some cool inspiration for your next travel adventure. If you think vegans only eat grass, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. You're welcome. I'll thank you, all of you. Thanks, yeah. Alex. <laughs> That's it, folks. After lunch, I took the train back to the Midlands. As always, I appreciate you all for joining me in my fun size adventure in Yorkshire. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to hydrate and sunscreen, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Mwah.